That's so weird. You guys aren't in my stream. What? <laughs> uh, uh, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just barged into a voice channel and just said that. <laughs> I'm so horrible. Hello everybody, and welcome to Call of Cthulhu. My name is Alcastry Reigns, and welcome to this creepy ass game. <laughs> I actually don't know much about it. It is technically horror, but from what Lions tells me is that there's not that much horror in this game, so I'm a little bummed out. But I spent money on this already, so we're gonna play it. <laughs> I would love it if Steam would actually suggest actual horror games. You know, just once. You know, games that are actually scary. Don't get me wrong, Tiny Bunny, wow. That was fucking terrifying. Whoever Whoever missed that, you could watch it. It's it's still on my, still in my library. But fuck that game. It wasn't even fun. It wasn't even finished. Oh, I gotta read. Um, <laughs> chapter one. Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston, Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. That's not how you say that word. How do you say that word? Pierce must find a new case quickly, or risk losing his license. Cool. Cool. Hey, thank you for coming. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate everyone. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who is in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. Ooh. Is that a whale I see? Ah oh, man, I must have been must have had my night terrors again. I just I killed the whole ocean. Oh god, don't you hate it when you do that? Oh, it's just so horrible. I'm gonna drink some tea while this happens. Mm. Oh god, thank god the game saved. Oh man. I hate it when the game doesn't save after I kill a whole ocean's worth of animals. Can I go back? E. Q. I thought that was a human. <laughs> like, I legit thought that shadow was something. Like, from a corner of my eye, that really looked like a person. Right? Like, let me see if I get that right. Like that. Like, I was just like... <gasps> okay. Do do. Do do. Do do. Do do. <laughs> So why am I? What do I do here? It is E. It is E to interact. Oh no, it's locked. Oh, I have to go through this hole. Where's the hole? Oh, there's the hole. God, don't you hate it when you can't find the hole? Anyway, am I still crouched? How do you, you can barely tell the difference. I'm gonna complain a lot, aren't I? Counter darkness. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. When an object can be picked up, press E. Can I drown? What happens if I drown? What was that? Can I interact with this? Hello? Is there something in the water? Can I run? Oh, there's a run function. It's shift, okay. Basic game can I face. I gotta. Where do I go? Oh. Bolt cutters. Nice. I'm gonna use them on the chain. Bang! Open says me. Fate inseparably pulls you along in my 
Mm, let me see if I can do that. What a putrid offering. What a putrid offering. Ooh, is that an orca? Oh, poor thing. Oh. Don't fight. You have been chosen. Don't fight. You have been chosen. I can't get that deep. That sucks. Behold. Everything has already been written. What the fudge? But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. It's Davy Jones! <clears throat> oh. Oh, thank God. I'm back in the 40s. I hate whiskey. What? Okay, I can't play anymore. No. If he doesn't like whiskey, I can't. No. <laughs> ah. I have skills. Why do I have skills? Sanity. Whoa. Nightmares. Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War. When he took part in the Muse Argonne Offensive, he is one of the few survivors of the Lost, Lost Battalion. American units that serve for blah blah blah. Confident in your abilities and your Cartesian mind, you conduct your investigation by sticking to the facts. Your convictions and your perception of reality, your conclusions are logical and reliable. <gasps> Places. Mark private, blah blah blah. Okay, who cares? <gasps> Ooh, a lighter. Okay. Well, I can interact with everything. I wonder why I still take these things. Doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they could put an end to the nightmares, but for a while now, their effects have been wearing off. Now I take the I talk on. I take it. Drink or have a drink. Don't drink. I'll drink that later. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Huh. Oh, there's more in my inventory. No, there's nothing of knowledge. I have knowledge. <gasps> I'm smarter. Oh, thank God. Huh. Whoa, what's going on here? Boston hit by the most severe blizzard in years. Paralyzing traffic. That's normal. I should get rid of all this stuff. And the phone's ringing. Huh? It's probably nothing. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Why do you have all that? Ooh, classic. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Wee. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Case solved. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. What do you mean? What? Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. Oh. Oh. I see now. It's probably not the Who cares? agency doesn't attract top notch cases. I used to be an avid reader. Is he talking to himself? Why are you talking to yourself? Holding your position and obeying orders. That is encouraging. That's true. Alright, let me take a drink or. Oh, God, decisions. Oh, just. Oh, just anyway. Ah. Oh. If you don't like whiskey. Oh, that will affect my destiny. Did I did I do something wrong? Alright, well let's answer the phone. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective. Well, yes, I am. That's correct. <laughs> what? I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your fire. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Uh huh. Is that right? Why? 8 CP available? What? Why do I get so much? Uh, there's the ability to talk to those you talk to by power speech. Proving the skill increases your chance of convincing and manipulating during discussions. Represents investigation. 
Huh. Eloquence is already at two. Investigation is at three. Strength is at three. Spot what? You need to find hinge objects. Actually, that's going to be important. That's going to be super important. those up and I got two left so what do I need to bring up medicine yeah that seems like a good one okay <sighs> definitely these are gonna be kind of like the ones I'm gonna need strength doesn't seem to be I don't think it'll be a huge factor right now I think later definitely it will be but other than that all right validate enter okay yeah No worries. On a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's yes, more? I am not gay. We wish to closely monitor the progress of our country. Unfortunately, sorry. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. There, there's no crime. I solved all of it. Yes. What do you want me to say? You know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. Nope, I solved cases? all the crimes. Why can I move? This eh. Ah, yes. Thank you for hanging I'm coming. out. Ah, God, I wish I like, could look like that. Full beard, hair come back like that. What you want? What do you want, sir? Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Ah, oh, thanks. I love whiskey. What do you want me to say? You're free to leave anytime, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? I'm a deadbeat inebriate. You come to me. I'm you not know, going anywhere near Cthulhu. Nobody believes me. They take me for an Never. old fool. <laughs> Sarah. My little girl. She is dead. No. Oh. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. What? Stephen Hawkins? Oh wait, yeah, Sarah Hawkins. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. That's weird. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Okay. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Got it. Darkness. Infinite darkness. What Nothing but dark. Hell. Hell will engulf everything. What? Sorry. I was I was looking at the painting. <laughs> or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? God, I yes, wish I looked like him. Please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your Darkness. desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. I would love it if I could actually control my character. What's this? A warehouse on Darkware. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Hmm. Rather thin. A shipping label. Some of it is unreadable. Unreadable. But I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. The police report that says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? Press cutting, an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Hmm. I can flip the whole thing. Just throw it all out. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the painting. I don't want to. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of so much darkness. So, Mr. Pierce, the what do you make me. of these? can't see. Elements. There's nothing. Nothing. Okay. 
Ah, so these... I'm wondering, whenever the wheel shows up, does that mean that I will be now... Hmm. Um, investigation slash professional. Her husband was a big deal. Hmm. Police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Hmm. I should ask for... Hmm, find out about Warehouse 46. I feel like... No, I shouldn't ask any of those questions. <sighs> Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Man, the 40s were really dark. <laughs> Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. 36? <gasps> That's nine! Oh my god! You know what that means? Go to Darkwater. Means the end. Find Warehouse 36. Hmm. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything By the way, for my daughter to I just want everyone to know that I actually am a believer in numerology. I'm on and side. nine actually does represent Let's the end. Up. Well, artist dies kind of. With her family in it does represent the end of a cycle, clue, which is interesting when you think about it. Sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death correct and the rumors about her supposed folly which you don't totally deny find that warehouse find out the truth regarding sarah hawkins death you'll be handsomely compensated how do i know you're not you're not, you're not one of them one of the cthulhu people if i see you in that island i Thank will you, shoot Pete. first i didn't think bokey bro what up it's kind of late for you right something's queer but it's not like I have a choice. <gasps> he said queer. <laughs> Alright, what's new? Dark water. Ooh. Ooh. Stephen Webster. Charles Hawkins, dead. Sarah Hawkins, also dead. Simon Hawkins, very dead. I do think this actually looks cool. I got news. Oh, dude. Congratulations on the new nephew, man. You, you are saying cousin, right? <laughs> Wait, babies? You have more than one cousin? I mean, not cousin. Nephew, right? Nephew and niece? Congrats on the nephew and niece. I still got a lighter in my mind. Oh, knowledge. I have knowledge. <sighs> I don't know why Dark I like the water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some natural sciences, linguistics. Oh, there's Our the Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. Dark According water. to this book, hmm. it was often mentioned during whale hunting oh, times cat. at the end of the 19th century. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Autocorrect sometimes messes both of us up. <laughs> Congrats, man. Congrats on the new cats. I would take one myself, but unfortunately my wife's allergic. They are cute, though. They're adorable. You want to pinch some little cheeks. Anyway. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. <gasps> that was a run-on sentence. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows what today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, Still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. All, right. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find the learning of medicine. Huh? What do I have? And about able to take me to dark water. All right. Do I need to see anything else? Can I leave? I think I can leave. All right, let's get out of here. Get me out of here! Oh, dude. Nice. I didn't know you were Australian, man. 
That's good to know, man. Ooh, an early birthday present with the rings, too. Jeez, man, like... You know, oh, there's a saying that there's a... Fortune comes in pairs, right? I think that's what it's called. That's what you're... That's what you're basically dealing with right now. Which is good, you know? Good to you, man. I mean, I'm... I hope you're having, like, a good day, having fun. Whoops, I forgot to read the intro to the new chapter. I was distracted. Damn it. Oh, no. I don't have my sea legs. I'm okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is that too overdramatic? Focus Home Interactive presents... Oh, oh let me just go get it for a smoke. <laughs> a game by Cyanide Studio. Ah, oh, I would probably be doing the same thing. You know, just puking while pretending to, like, smoke a cigarette. We're almost there. Do you have shark teeth? Did I just see shark teeth on you? Are you shark man? I found... I found the missing link. <laughs> He's a sailor. <laughs> Call of Cthulhu. Oh, maybe I should do this voice all day. <laughs> no, that's too scary. It's not appropriate for children. Huh. Weird. Spooky. Alright, let's get off the boat before I puke again. Come on. All right, we, but we both know you can't lift a box like that. There's guys coming to unload. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. Is it always covered in fog and looking like someone's about to murder me? I'm not, I'm not touching it. A sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have... Elkum to Darkwater. Cool. What does Elkum mean? Anyone know what Elkum wife, means? Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman. And Ooh, a great I discovered something. Darkwater plot. Hey, guy. You know I what? discovered this island. <laughs> I claim it for me. Alcastry. <laughs> Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. Your Harbor Master? It's, it's mine now. I own this you. island because I, I discovered it. That's what happens you. when you discover Understood. something. You own it. I'm going for a look around the docks. Ooh, see. Or are they Cthulhu birds? <gasps> Fucking disappeared. What the fuck? <laughs> Shit. That actually kind of scared me. <laughs> The birds are scary. Talk to Fitzroy. Second, so go to the bar. Talk Bradley. Hey, Sullivan. Can't you go any faster? Oh, crazy. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Killer okay. whales have few predators, and there are no sharks in these waters. This what creature could possibly have done this? That actually lives. They actually did this. Kind of well because it looks like something wrapped around it, like a like a giant squid of some sort. Same goes for you, sir. Move along. Can I punch him? I'm looking for this address, Warehouse Thirty Six, Darkwater Harbor. Ah, and so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. 
Okay. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't don't put that What's up with the face? In the water, you shysters. You're crazy. Yeah. Weird. All right, where else can I go? <gasps> A lantern. Oh, I can pick this up. I said I could pick it up. I said pick it up. Fine. Where's the bar? I'm gonna go for a drink. Is this the bar? Prohibition. <clears throat> January 16th, 1919. Moment just day of world Prohibition history. is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. <laughs> Let's go for a drink. What do you want? You're not welcome here. Pfft. Fucking Yankee. <laughs> is it is it weird that like that was such a cliche? Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, be careful. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, that was funny. I should do that more often. Not that I uh would be in a situation to do that. Let's get him another drink. It's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Hmm. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainlander. A real princess. You strut around with your la-di-da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. I'm that's... here for information, not for a fight. That's poor I business, that way. you know? Speak, then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Yeah. Um... Order a drink? Find out about dark water. Um, let's go with that one. Uh, why this? Ooh. The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. That's true. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. <laughs> what can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Do it. You don't dare say a thing because you respect their memory. But that doesn't mean that you don't have a lot on your mind. <laughs> You're not a PI for nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks. I try I my best. What it's worth, though. They call me the Mrs. Detective Alchemistry. And she went to see her doctor. <laughs> Pleasure long. to meet you. <laughs> she was sick. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have mentioned it to you. Forget it. Mm. I've got what I need. Anything else? Uh... <laughs> you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why? Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Yeah, it's the orgies Screams. that they were having. That's they were rich. Rich Screams. people have orgies. Everyone That's knows not that. all. God. There's the fate <laughs> of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. You better not. Anything else? Um, I mean, That'll be all for now. Hmm. One sec. Can I punch 
punch this guy. <laughs> oh, hello. The shanty. Oh, the miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Hmm. Interesting. The Sila returns to the port to save Darkwater from famine. We had given up hope. The crew of Sila, Celia, or what remains of it, returned to Darkwater Port. Late on Tuesday afternoon, the locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of the formidable tooth whales. A cetacean that is already being called the Miraculous Catch covered in the whole deck and part of it were hanging over the side of the ship. The surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch, but also of its meat unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritious benefit. There is no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of Darkwater to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine from which the island was suffering. Warehouse for rent. Mr. Marks is putting his warehouse up for rent from June for fishing, workshop or storage activities, blah, blah, blah. Special evening at the Stranded Whale. To celebrate the return of our brave whalers, all the staff of the Stranded Whale invite you to an exceptional and free tasting event. Huh. Oh, they're all looking at me. They're all looking at me. Why are they looking at me? Oh, God. That's so creepy. Hey, doctor. Huh. Hi. Hello? Can I just need... I just want to read that tattoo. What does that mean? That's Icelandic. Why is it an, why is it an Icelandic? Tell me. Can I read that? It's too blurry for me to read. Oh, I know that one, actually. That one I actually know. Huh. I haven't seen that in a while. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. That's creepy. You like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be sure. pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. Hey, fine. If you want a song, I can give you a song. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Mm, I'm gonna drink some of my rum. What the fuck was that? I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the Wow, that's a really hard voice for you to do. Watch what you <laughs> say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. I don't Our believe you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. Weird. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Creepy. Good night, stranger. So long. Anyway. Weirdo. I don't want to talk to her yet. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> what is this? Hmm. 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 What about you, sir? I can't get over you. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, fine. What you looking at, stranger? Um. The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> I meant nothing. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. Yeah. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Nothing. Let me drink, stranger. Never. Yo, ho, yo, ho, a pirate's life for me. All right, let's go. Can I pick that up yet? It's E, right? F? What if I hold E? I can't pick that up yet. All right. I got to talk to Fitzroy, which I believe is up here. Harbor Master, yeah, it's up here. Well, I could close the door. That's probably significant. What is this? 
to Bell. I know. Uh, that wasn't good. <laughs> 